Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you this collection of four keyboards, with one of them actually being wireless, although it actually has a USB dongle. And I'm not going to test this keyboard because, you know, I tested it in a previous video. You know, you know it works. So I'll just move on to these three keyboards for now and put this one aside. Sorry for all the cables in the way because these are all wired keyboards. They aren't wireless, which is sad, apart from this one. But it's time we actually test these keyboards. Actually, I've tested them before and they all work, but I just want to show you that they actually work just to confirm. So to start with, we have this Dell keyboard. And I really like how tactile the keys are. But basically, this was the dustiest keyboard in the lot. Um, I actually found it in a garage sale. I was basically walking to the supermarket with my um, on my bicycle, and I found one of these. Um, and I and I found these keyboards in a garage sale, and. Um, I felt like, why not I bring them with me? And nobody said it. And thankfully, I wasn't caught by taking them because nobody was, because nobody was in front of the um, lot. But there we are. We have the um, three keyboards over here, and they all work. I've cleaned them off, and they are fully functional. And this was super dusty, by the way. So after a clean is looking just like the cleanest one out of all of these. Just look how clean it is. Well, enough enough chattering. Let's just put the let's I'll just show you that it actually works. And this time I have a new kind of adapter. This time it's shorter. So like always it's a USB-C to USB-A 3.0 um adapters so that end will go to the android phone and this end shall go towards the keyboard and it doesn't look like it's in there all the way but um like always you can use it for typing like you can search for stuff and you can type and yeah i'll just delete that all we do have number lock on the keyboard caps lock works too and what about the scroll lock? Um, I don't think I've tested that, but uh, scroll lock does work. They all have different icons to represent them, and they light up white when they are on, which everybody knows. Now it's time to move on to the special functions of the keyboard. As you can see, escape is for FN lock. That basically um, restricts the um, function keys to their standard mode, like F1, F2, F3, instead of the f other types of functions, whatever. So if I press F and F1, then it should put the um, phone to sleep mode. And it actually works with Android, which I really didn't expect. But I'll just put in my fingerprint over here. And it's time to move on to some more keys. So the blank ones are from F2 to F8. But F9 is supposed to do the search thing. So let's see if that will actually work. So Fn and F9. And it brings up search. Wow, nice. But um, enough about that. We also have F10, F11, and F12. Close that, whatever that is. And these are just the media controls, which everybody knows will work for Android. I'm not really familiar with the media controls. I'm familiar with everything else most of the time. But what about the volume controls? Do they work? And indeed, they do work, which is nice. So now um, we will finish testing the Dell keyboard for now. And now I will show you the HP keyboard. So here is the HP keyboard. Again, it is a bit of an older keyboard, and this was also pretty dusty, but um, I did manage to clean it a little bit, except for the keys. This is what the Dell sounded like.
kind of satisfying, isn't it? But we will again test the HP keyboard now. Um, if I can actually find the end. Oh yeah, it's this one. And I'll show you this does indeed work. Um, but it's in the wrong way again. And it doesn't really seem like it's going in all the way, but um, it is all the way in, except it's just sticking out a little bit. But other than that, it's all right. And we can use it for different things. So caps lock, if I press caps lock, um, it does light up um, amber when it's on. Um, scroll lock works, or no, number lock works. And what about scroll lock? And scroll lock works too. And it seems like this keyboard also has volume controls. We'll see if they actually work once I show you that we can actually use the thing for typing. But yeah, you can actually type using it, which is very nice. Just delete that all for now. And moving on, we have F2 for sleep. Over here it says F1. I thought the F1 was going to be help, but F2 is actually sleep. By the way, is F1 actually help? Oh wow, it actually says keyboard shortcuts, so we can bring up the apps list with Alt and A. Wow, let's see if that actually works. I'm holding Alt, A, it brings up the apps, nice. So F1 actually brings up a little help menu if we go to system, that's all the different things. App, yeah, we can um, uh, get any functions to work with these apps. And it says command instead of Windows, which is very funny. But we also have, again, F2 for sleeping. That works, which is nice. When people think it wouldn't, it actually works. We have, again, video playback. We have um, more keys this time. We have previous and next track, play and pause, and the stop button, which I didn't really expect there. But, um, you know, all of these work. Who cares about testing them? So we'll just leave that out for now. And now for our last keyboard, we are going to check out this Lenovo keyboard. And again, it looks like one of those old school keyboards, except it's actually made for Windows 10 because it has the newer style Windows logo, which is nice. And uh, if you look at some of the keys, they do have a little bit of sticky stuff on it because somebody put stickers on top of them, but I removed those stickers and there we are. Well, it actually works. So now it's time to plug it in. Moment of truth. Let's see if it will work. It doesn't want to get in or something. For some reason it's not getting in. There we are. Plugged in. We do indeed have a caps lock on the keyboard. So we do have caps lock, we do have number lock, and we do indeed have scroll lock, which is nice. But we don't have any special functions on this keyboard, which is sad. And I almost forgot about this button. It works the same as on these two keyboards, but let's try it on this one, see if it does anything. What? It should at least do a little right click or something. No, I just open up the weather for accident, but um, pressing the thing just does nothing. Oh no, I just opened the F1 thing by accident. But we don't really have any more functions, but this does indeed work for typing, as you can see. But I do want to also give out a little bonus as well. So I also have a bonus one. I was testing out the function keys for all of these keyboards, but I almost skipped this guy because this also seems to have function keys as well. And don't they look very nice? We have one for writing something. F2 is like, what is this? 
F3 is again for Surge, F4 is probably the home group thing you would see on older versions of Windows. F5 is for connecting to an external display, F6 is for system settings, F7, F8, F8 and F9 for media controls, F10, F11, F and, and F12 for volume controls. Let's see if this will actually work as well. So, um, sadly, I forgot to put batteries in this, but I will put batteries soon. Um, I may just do it in another video, but, um, we do have the USB dongle, but I really, really think of doing that now, but, um, but I will do it in another video, but, um, I'll just do it as a bonus, but I don't want to make this video super long. Um, just put the little thing in there, if it will actually want to get in. There we are. Now I will actually need to find batteries for this thing. And that is the issue. So just hold up while I get some batteries for this. I'll be quick. No need to skip the video. Okay, I just got some, I just got two double A batteries from my um, other wireless keyboard. It was an Apple branded one. It was one of those older ones, um, the Bluetooth ones. So I'll just put the batteries in now. Make sure this is actually plugged in. Now I can close the little case and turn it on. By the way, I disassembled it last time, so I don't think it's really gonna work i'm just going to press f1 for instance yeah that works how is this still working and even the cursor works so funny <laughs> the cursor actually works we can click on stuff those ja gestures don't work gestures don't work oh wow they do work oh I wish I could change it, but right clicks do work, which is nice. But I'll just move on to the keyboard side of it, everything. So we do have FN, F1, but sorry. Sorry. Keeps on pressing keys by accident, but FN, F1 does bring this. But don't those keys actually work? These keys? Oh, they just move to the start of the home screen. F2 doesn't really do anything. Fn F2. Yeah, look. Fn F2. No. Um, search works like you would expect it. But what about this F4? Allow Samsung keyboard to record audio. What? What? <laughs> I press the key, it does this. Don't allow. Thank you. And if I press F5, it just brings up the calendar. And Fn F5? No. Well, what about F6? It doesn't even bring up settings. Are you serious? No settings on my device, but... Um, moving on, we have the volume controls, like always, those work. And I think I will conclude the video here. I don't. It's hard to know if caps lock is on or not. Wow, I just pressed this little button and brings up this. But what about these music buttons? So pressing this, complete action using Samsung music? Oh, you can. Um, what about this home? Oh yeah, it just takes you back to the home main menu. And if you press the lock button, takes you to the lock screen. <laughs> nice. But as always, I think I will conclude the video here. 
and I have successfully finished showing you all of these keyboards. And again, this video is already so many minutes long, but I will conclude here. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.